Tifu by creating a special handshake with my daughter, NSFW. This is an ongoing Tifu, I am actively looking for ways to end it. My daughter is three. She is the light of my life and all that. Because she isn't much for drinking or golf, I have had to find activities we both enjoy to pass the day. This means we spend a great deal of time watching movies. My favorite is E.T. And I figured she'd love it too. Wrong. E.T is terrifying to a little girl. In effort to make E.T. fun, I taught her the fingertip touch ouch thing and then we watched that scene a few times in a row. It went well and now E.T. no longer scares her. When she has held onto the fingertip touch and it has taken on a life its own, a bit like a not at all secret handshake for us. We always do it before she goes to sleep. Her puts out finger finger. Me touches finger ouch. Super cute right? Well, he has now taken to doing it anywhere, at any time. It became pretty annoying and when I tried to curb the frequency of it, I was met with disaster. Last weekend we were at the mall when she announced loudly in a quiet jewelry store that she was going to give me the finger. A little embarrassing but not too bad. I told her that she can't say it like that because the finger sometimes means something bad. She nods, understanding and the moment passes. A few days later, at dinner with my in-laws, the handshake returns to the forefront of her mind. Mid-meal, she says, finger. Oh no wait, that's bad. She then thinks for a moment and screams, daddy, finger me. If I could have turned into a flock of birds and flown away forever, I would have. My in-laws turn bright red and stare at her. I immediately say, no no, that's not what it's called. My daughter doubles down, yes. Finger me. Ouch. Remember? Ouch. I nearly passed out. We are now trying to rebrand the handshake as E.T. and ouch because Jesus Christ I can't take her anywhere. TLDR, my toddler desperately wants me to go to prison. Edit, holy hell y'all, never have I ever had so many people delight in my personal disaster. I am flattered, honored, and rolling in awards. I'm finally an award-winning individual. You should try adding some new secret handshakes, so that she will eventually lose this one. All kids fall for new and shiny stuff at some point. But I have to be so careful about what they are. This reminds me of when I would blow air in my son's face when he was being too loud to startle him so I could ask him not to yell. One time I did this and he said, don't blow me, dad. And I didn't do that ever again. What about the air thing on his face, or did you stop that too? She is the light of my life and all that. I have never seen a sentence that screams dad more than this. And GT, because she isn't much for drinking or golf. I have had to find activities we both enjoy to pass the day. This one got me good. I'm dying. Finger me. Ouch. Zucchini man you have to throw the whole daughter away now. Tifu by referring to a married man as daddy. I'm 19 slash chef waitress and work at this fancy restaurant near the beach. Our customers tend to be rich people and they're generally pleasant. Today a couple and their young daughter, around three, came in. The little girl was adorable and so polite, I was impressed. Her dad was nice too but the mom, not so much. She was honestly stuck up and rude. As they were about to leave, I gave the little girl a lollipop, as we do. She immediately said daddy wants one too. And her dad chuckled. She insisted and I told her your daddy doesn't want a lollipop. It's just for you. For some context, I don't consider the word daddy sexual at all. When I'm around children, I tend to refer to their parents with the term they know, e. g. mommy slash daddy. I did this when I used to babysit as well and never had any problems. Things went from 0 to 100 very quick. His wife yelled and asked if I seriously just called her husband daddy. I was mortified because she was obnoxiously loud and people actually turned to look at us. I calmly told her that I was just explaining it to her daughter and that I'm and no disrespect. She didn't even listen to me and proceeded to call me a home wrecker. Comma a dirty butternut and a butternut. Yup, all in front of her kid. Her husband just wearily said not here, 
not now. Please which pissed her off even more. She started screaming at him and by now everyone in the restaurant was spectating the drama. He just grabbed his kid and walked out. His crazy wife demanded to speak to my manager and she did. Of course she exaggerated everything and even encouraged him to fire me. I had to clarify the situation to him several times because she honestly made me sound like some evil, conniving witch. Luckily my manager is a reasonable guy and I didn't get into too much trouble. He just told me to stop calling customers daddy. TL doctor referred to a married man as daddy and mommy didn't like it. Dot. I'm in hotels, we have all kinds of treats in the lobby. When kids come in, I always say things like if mommy and or daddy's says it's okay. We have hot cocoa and cookies. Not one time did someone accuse me of sexualizing their spouse. That lady is straight bonkers. Um, this butter nut crazy. If you said your daddy it's insane to think there's anything flirtatious about that comment at all. Now if you'd said, daddy wants a lollipop, don't you daddy? That would be a different story. Exactly. She was very catty throughout anyway and I should have known that she's underscore that underscore type. Sounds like she has some trust issues, or maybe she's just nuts. I wouldn't consider this your fault, it's on the wife for having a tantrum. What are the chances she's cheating? Boss, stop calling customers daddy. Now that's awkward thing for any boss to say to their employee. It was an awkward conversation for sure. You did nothing wrong here. Saying, your daddy doesn't want one, is normal. Or speaking to the kid, in the kid's language. If you addressed him as daddy to him, that would have been weird. Like, have a nice day daddy. My guess is, they are having some marital problems, and he probably recently got in trouble for something along those lines. Once again, not your fault. They're definitely having marital problems. Lol she made sure everybody heard about their personal lives. Tifu by using my parents PC TL doctor at the bottom NSFW this is still fresh in my mind as I'm typing I take some time out of my daily commute home from night shift to make a detour and spend time with my dad 71 years young who spends most of the week alone as my mom 62 works all day day was just a routine visit my folks live in the country and don't have trash pickup so i visit with dad while driving their garbage to the dump as we're talking i bring up a video i had seen and suggested i share it with him he agrees and once we get back to the house he suggests i find the video while he does something else commence fuck up my dad has an older model desktop pc that is quite temperamental and only likes to use google chrome i go to open a window and see that my dad has 20 plus tabs open. All of them were different profiles on FetLife. For those who don't know, FetLife is like my space for people with fetishes, banana, waterworks, furries, etc. I just brushed it off as my dad being a dirty old man. Unfortunately the tab I opened Chrome to was my parents profile page. I not only saw my mother in very revealing garments, I also saw my dad gagged and hogtied like a pig at a pork roast. So now, not only do I know my parents are pretty kinky, I also know what it looks like when my dad is getting stuffed like a Christmas turkey. TL, doctor, opened Google Chrome to share something with my dad, only to find out he gets butt raunched by my mother on the regular. Edit words. Edit 2, wow my first gold. Thanks stranger. Edit 3, my wife is a Reddit user and knows her husband posted this from the commute detail. She didn't believe me so she temporarily created a FetLife account so I could, for once, be right. Now she is very distraught and has told me she can never look at my parents the same. My dad has been a bachelor since I was a child. My brother and I have found his banana, personal pics, and his lover's pics on more than one occasion. One time my dad was trying to show me a picture of my son. He holds his smartphone six inches from my face and it's a picture of his fully erect coconut. He realizes his mistake and it doesn't even faze him. He slides through to the pic of my son and then puts it back into my face. Also, he had this woman lover that would call him Puerto Pounder openly and without hesitation. We are Puerto Rican if that wasn't clear. Puerto Pounder is now my PSN gamer tag. He saw it one time and had the most satisfying dad laugh over it. GT, Puerto Pounder is now my PSN gamer tag. He saw it one time and had the most satisfying dad laugh over it. I've never, and will never, met your dad, but I like him already. 
I mean that is brutal but hey they are into each other more so your mom is into your dad but still that is adorable true they're keeping it fresh plenty of older folks stop having butternut altogether and end up butternut about every little thing and being pissed off all the time want some more turkey son your mom really nailed the stuffing this year oh thanks dad edit stop giving me stuff and LT, relates to someone else's PC and GT, and LT, marked NSFW and GT, immediately assumes a Kini.